Hey guys, welcome back. I yeah, did it again. I checked out the internet because it was simply too annoying. This fight, it, it, the tyrant, he simply insta-killed me and I really couldn't dodge his attack. And apparently that's something, yeah, that you really uh, cannot really think of yourself. You don't even need to shoot him. You just need to evade him until the timer reaches below five minutes. Then you get a rocket launcher and you can kill him. And there is one, uh, yeah, almost undodgeable attack. And during his build-up phase to that attack, you have to shoot a couple of Matilda bullets at him to disrupt his uh, build-up. So that is actually what I just uh, watched. And now let's try it for real. Um, so let's do like so. And here we go. Stuff like that is a bit annoying, I find. I mean, it you really are the most logical thing to be doing is actually putting him full of lead but that is actually not necessary at all and there really is not a way to discover that for yourself i would say So I don't really like that game design. They should give a hint of uh, some sort. Like, maybe a little comment from Leon. Like, run for your life or whatever. But it's just like, it, uh, and that's the thing. It's such a waste. It, it takes like half an hour or something to just do trial and error die over and over again while well, it's actually not necessary at all um, so i also don't need the flamethrower anymore i just need the matilda to dodge him or to disrupt his uh, storm attack and let's see how we will fare asshole i do look forward to putting some rockets into his big ass body I cut, skipped the cutscene. Why not? Um, nope. The hell? No. Ah, okay. Let's pick everything up just for the OCD to clear out the room. Although I don't need it all. Let's uh, discard that one. Let's pick up this one. Seven. Let's get the knife back. I don't need it, but just for OCD's sake. Detonation. And let's try it. So it's all about dodging Detonation. and disrupting his dangerous attack. Here we go. And another good hint was that apparently I need to run. Ah, uh, goddammit! I need to run to the left. Am I in danger? No. Still caution. Goddammit! That was a pretty far reaching attack, to be quite honest. God damn it! All right, one minute to go. Yeah, I was previously like trying to uh, hurt him. It really was pretty useless. Now is 
dangerous attack will probably come up. That was it. Take some health? Why not? Screw you, asshole. God damn it! Asshole. me all right rocket launcher where are you all right I'm a bit nervous god damn it that was Ada she survived god damn it Woohoo! Pretty annoying fight in the sense that the game really didn't give you a hint that you do not need to um, Nice Mr. X in half that you do not need to damage him actually Which is yeah like what most people would do so it's really almost trolling the player like knowing that everybody will at least die like holy shit nice quite satisfying quite satisfying what did it change for by the way which weapon did i Ah, I still had like a free slot for it, for this rocket launcher. Right. Yes, this is all cleared. Shit. Come on, Leon, you can do this. Beat it! <sighs> Lucky there was a train running over there. Ada is still alive, Leon, don't worry. I saw her in the cutscene. Leon? Hey. We made it. Just like I said we would. Holy shit, this was it? No, like, ending cutscene or anything. Doesn't matter. Anyways, um, yeah, 
that was the playthrough. I'm actually pretty pumped that I completed it. I was really looking up against those two last boss fights. And of course, if I would have more time, I really would try have tried them on my own. A couple of years ago, I for sure would have. But now, the, so, something in me just doesn't like those super frantic boss fights where it's like hours of trial and error and also uh, sometimes a factor of luck like that second Birkin fight I found it super annoying so I did cheat a bit by uh, looking it up on the internet uh, um, while I, after I was failing so I'm, I'm not too proud of that but anyways I did complete the game at hardcore difficulty level uh, with every uh, nook and cranny uh, explored all the rooms uh, cleared of all the uh, collectibles and the items I'm actually not sure whether I got all the raccoon uh, statues but let's uh, hope I did um, yeah a brief reflection on the game it's just terrific it's indeed what all the reviews said it's true this is how you do a remake it's like the, the cool classical elements were still there uh, like the whole countdown with the, the James Bond like uh, villain lair crumbling on, uh, in the end uh, uh, on, up on, yeah, until itself or however you say that uh, gr grammatically correctly but um, the uh, the inventory management uh, it, it really had like, those cool classical resident evil uh, uh, touches the hut was, I did turn it off, but sometimes I needed to put it on just for the reticle. But it was not that intrusive, except for all the stupid button prompts, what, uh, whenever you could interact with an item. Um, the, the graphics were great, the sound design was great. It really was that 3D binaural audio option, what I, th what I thought was like a stupid gimmick. But really, it did seem to do something. In the police station, you really could listen to where the uh, sounds were coming from like the footstep of mr big like was he to the left was he to the right was he below you was he uh, above you um so sound design great story yeah th there wasn't that many cutscenes. Uh, it's not really like story driven but it's like the, the the environment tells the story itself so the gameplay tells the story and of course yeah it's just a pretty basic a uh, zombie story with like this the, this uh, mutant virus uh, spreading uh, haywire but um, yeah still to me that's like a pretty cool story the uh, characters the monsters were great the zombies how they moved the unpredictability also the the, the mix between being dangerous and being fun to toy around with was was cool like like getting their legs uh, out beneath them and just to toy around with them was just as much fun as the the, the scares that they uh, uh, also could give you uh, the liquors the boss fights the, yeah, the, the, the third Birken fight I found tremendously uh, cool uh, the last Mr. X fight and the second Birken fight I found pretty frustrating because it really was like yeah not that clear what to do at least the second Birken fight it was but uh yeah i've just failed a lot and the last mr x fight yeah how the hell could i know that shooting him was totally futile that, that you really have to look stuff up like that unless you really at one point try to um to f to to try that yourself but who is going to try to get into a boss fight and not try to fight the boss but just only dodge him that's like not something that would come up into uh, my uh, suggestion suggestions inbox or in, up in my head uh, but so the boss fights were a bit of a mixed bag but the graphics great sound great story pretty yeah standard but uh, cool nonetheless um, yeah, so I had a great time and I am looking forward to playing the Claire storyline, which is like mostly the same, but which has like a, a bit of different weapons and a couple of rooms that uh, that aren't the same. So uh, I will eventually play that game as well or that um, 
uh, campaign. But um, I probably not before I will do Metro Exodus because um, yeah, now I've had like, I don't know, 20, 30 hours with this game. It's, it's a bit uh, enough for now. I am actually also looking forward to doing Metro Exodus now with the ray tracing. Really curious what my 280 Ti graphic card uh, will be able to put out with that revolutionary new technology. Uh, and I'm actually also looking forward to uh, the last Tomb Raider game once it gets the ray tracing patch. But that is really already a long wait, so that will probably uh, uh, take a while longer. So for now, uh, bar any unforeseen circumstances, it will be Metro Exodus that is next on the menu. Um, anyways, I am probably talking way too quickly and way too uh, anxious or loud, but yeah, I don't know why that is. Actually, I have no idea. It's simply like a quiet Monday evening. But um, yeah, somehow I'm pumped. <laughs> Anyways, before signing off, ah, there is a cutscene. So it's good that click the credits away. Ah, that was a really brief cutscene showing that the G virus was not uh, done yet. What do I have? A C. That's not really good. Uh, I played 20 hours almost. Uh, I know an S or an S plus is like the best you can do. Uh, I did complete it on hardcore and I think I got almost all rooms cleared or no, all rooms cleared. And I also think thus that I also uh, collected each and every item. But let's see if there's an overview on that. No, nothing. Um, I have some unlockables. Unlockable. Wh what a weird word that is actually, an unlockable. Uh, thank you. New game second run has been unlocked. Selected under story from the main menu. The editing in certain parts of the game, the ending in certain parts of the game are different in the second run scenarios. Cool. So there really is a good replay value and I'm sure this will not be my last time with the game. Um, let's check out the extra modes that I have now. The extra mode contains spoilers for the main story. If you want to avoid spoilers, clear the main story first. All right. Nope, won't be doing that. Bonuses, records. What the hell is this? Oh, it's all concept art. Why are some, uh, you have to complete certain game modes to unlock them. Conditions, I have no idea, but I did clear out quite some of them. Not all, but the spark shot. Some I could not even clear because I did not do the Claire campaign. So I don't, didn't have the grenade launcher and stuff. Um, holy shit, that's a lot, by the way. Immobilize an ivy zombie by shooting only its bulbs. Bring Tyrant down to one knee. Shoot Tyrant's head off his head. Man, there's so much stuff you could do. Like completing all these. Obtain all of the weapons in Leon's story. I did get them all, but of course I didn't do the second run of Leon yet. So maybe you can get other weapons over there. I'm just randomly reading some of them. Completely unstoring on hardcore. All right. What do we get? Hardcore rookie. We get like a new outfit, I guess. And yeah, there's a lot of replayability in this game. Complete all objectives in records. Not even sure what records is. Ah, that's of course what we just w went through. So if you have them all checked off, you will also check off the first one. Records, the ghost survivors. What the hell is this? Uh, that's like, a, I think, a different 
uh, a different play mode, concept arts. Yeah, I by not any stretch of the imagination get them all. I only got like 17 out of 30. It's quite cool. This is. I wonder whether this is the original game's concept art or the remakes. I think the remakes. But they did a great job, I must say. Also with those weak spots on the monsters, like those big eyes. Police. Claire, Ada, didn't even get that much. Holy shit. Why didn't I unlock more of these? Only 18 out of 68. Probably need some more um, G adults. Ah, cool to see them outside of the sewers. Probably need to do some more uh, playthroughs, other campaigns. G stage one, G stage three. Why didn't I get G stage two? Why isn't there anything here that ah, you can actually also turn it around? It's so cool. Graphics are great in the game. Combat knife. Ew. It's really such a... This is really... It reminds me of the, the, the best Metal Gear Solid games. So Those Japanese developers, they can put so much attention to detail in their games. And it's all such a nice mix between creativity and realism must say all right uh, online store nope options nope yeah i think that was about it we have the new game second run ah the results that's what i wanted to check out and the costumes i can i think do alternative outfits right Check it out. Switch all characters back to their normal. Nope. Alternative. I have no idea what the... Ah, these are the alternatives. It's like... Claire looks a bit more sexy. In her little... Uh, pink outfit. And Leon... I find the original one cooler than the alternative. Unlocked. Alright. Individually change each character's outfit. Police, police injured, classic police, classic police injured. All right, Claire, I haven't played it yet, so nothing unlocked. Um, and let's see the results quickly. What did I do? Yeah, that's not too good. Rank time A is for, yeah, it's all about timing. And that's one thing that I'm like the worst at is like, speed running i actually that's like the opposite of my channel i try to be as thorough and meticulous as possible which usually if you have to look in each nook and cranny takes like a lot of time um so that's why i got like this pretty bad time but i don't mind i took way more from the game i think than somebody who's trying to complete it in four hours um the only thing is i would like to know how many uh collectibles i got how many raccoon, raccoon statues and how uh, whether i cleared all the rooms stuff like that i'd like to know but yeah, that's probably not possible anyways guys that was it like a brief uh, rundown of uh, the stats and the uh, unlockables from this first run on hardcore leon a uh, the next one will be Claire A on Hardcore as well. But uh, as mentioned, probably first I will do Metro Exodus. Or whenever another cool game 
pops up into my mind before booting up Metro Exodus, but I can't really think of any out of my head. Maybe Wolfenstein, the new order or that, that new one, the Colossus or whatever. I still like to do that one. Of course, I'm also more into like um, adventure games and I do consider the Resident Evil series also semi-adventure games. So I am looking forward to Tomb Raider. I'm also uh, want to complete the campaign in uh, Gran Turismo Sport on HDR. It looks amazing with all the updates and stuff. It's almost when it was released, it was like, yeah, a, a week shadow of the former Gran Turismo games with like only a handful of cars and only focus on online and only modern racing car uh, classes. But now with all the updates and the free uh, uh, DLC cars, uh, it really is like um, uh, a way more, um, uh, uh, how do you call it? Um, yeah. Um, polished experience. So I'm actually really looking forward to also uh, do a Gran Turismo playthrough. Uh, I still have to upload a lot of episodes because YouTube really is not cooperating with uh, accepting 4K HDR videos. I have a lot of episodes of Red Dead Redemption still uh, to be uploaded and also from Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I also have to finish still the DLC of Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, which I now can also do uh, in H. Uh, I'm not even sure whether there is HDR in the PC version. But at least in 4K I can do that now, because with my new uh, PC that I built a couple of months ago. Um, so there's a lot on the agenda yet. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I hope to uh, see you again in one of the next playthroughs. If you liked it, please leave a like, because that really helps out. And maybe even a subscribe that would be of course total greatness it really helps to grow the channel i'm like my uh, i'm almost like my own audience uh counting the amount of viewers that i have but uh yeah i really do like to uh to game and also to babble about it um uh, while doing so so why not uh yeah record it and upload it so i will just keep on strutting through I'm not really doing it to make the channel. It's just like I'm doing what I like and I can just as well put that in a channel. So that's more of like uh, the, uh, the setup. Uh, anyways, uh, a like or a subscribe would still be very much appreciated. And as mentioned, I hope to see you in the next playthrough, probably Metro Exodus. And guys, as my biology teacher and my math teacher, in high school and primary school as well uh, told us each and every day it was like this this lesson that was smashed into our brains like like uh, a brainwashing uh, uh, a 10 year continuous brainwashing experience it's like this one lesson and it was always remember to keep on gaming see you later